After playing through so many terrible, terrible, absolutely garbage mobile MMOs recently, it's nice to go ahead and play through something that doesn't really suck. Now, right off the bat, we are introduced to the game with an animated cinematic and plenty of story. We're introduced to the main cast of characters and the characters look great. Then we're thrown directly into a small tutorial battle, a tutorial which actually only lasts a few minutes, which was very, very refreshing. I hate when tutorials take, well, I don't know, like 20, 30 minutes to get through. I know how to play mobile games, man. Speaking of battle, the game, like most mobile games, takes place place predominantly within instance battles. You have missions, you have chapters, it's about what you'd expect. Each chapter, each mission has a story that pushes you through it to unlock new areas, to unlock new characters. The gacha rates from what I noticed were actually kind of bad though. I did over 20 rolls I think and I got like pretty much no heroes, which was weird considering traditionally at the beginning of games like this, they give you a handful of, I mean, I don't want to say crappy heroes, but I, I guess I'll just say mediocre characters and say, here you go. These are the kinds of things you can get if you spend money on me. But you know what? That was fine. The heroes I got were more than fine. The zones you could enter were really interesting. They allowed for you to freely roam around the area, engaging different groups of monsters. And well, you know what? Speaking of the combat, I mean, the combat itself isn't bad. It isn't as flashy as I'm used to seeing in more modern mobile games, but your abilities still felt like they had a bit of substance. I'm a fan of both turn-based and action combat in mobile games, but at the same time, Grand Alliance didn't actually allow for me to fight myself. Like in Instead, I would direct my heroes around the map and I would cycle through their available abilities. I couldn't actually attack outside of a couple different abilities per character. And interestingly enough, the characters themselves did not have unique abilities. You had a selection of abilities that you could equip on your heroes before deploying them into battle. This made heroes feel, I don't know, less like actual individuals, I guess. Since I had several characters all with the same skills, granted, sure, that made it easier for me to find the perfect team as I wasn't really limited by OP heroes heroes per se, but it made collecting them feel pointless outside of their space statistical advantages. Graphically, the game looked pretty good. The environments looked good. The character models, both in-game and during the story, were pretty high quality. They're very reminiscent of many games that I've seen in the past, so they didn't really stand out, but the females were as hot as ever. I think the only issue I had with the game was the fact that it heavily encouraged me to autoplay it. Literally, as soon as I entered the game, it was like, this is how you autoplay, followed by auto play is the best way to play the game. I'm just saying you should totally utilize the autoplay feature. So I let it autoplay for me and ended up enjoying it a lot less than I would have otherwise. That's one of the things that I really enjoyed about Guardian Tales, the fact that there was just no autoplay when first running through the game in the areas. Overall, I found that Grand Alliance was a, a solid game. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing special, but it both looked and played pretty well. Well enough where I could definitely consider including it in a top mobile RPGs list, but at the same time, I don't believe it is good enough to warrant any additional time spent in the game for me. But this is my opinion, my impressions of the game. What do you guys think? Have you played it? What do you guys think? Do you want to play it? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.